Hi everyone, it's Living the Good Life, and I have more finds for you. This is kind of going to be the Sterling and Fenton haul. So I hope you enjoy everything. So I went to a sale, and a um, gentleman's family um, kind of is in real estate, and this was some stuff left behind at the house. So they were kind of getting rid of it. I guess they bought it when they when they bought the house. They got all the contents too. So they found great stuff. I mean, you couldn't. I'd get trash if I bought a house, but this is, and I did one time. I got stuff left behind, but nothing was good. Here we go. So here, I've got the Emerald Crest 11 and a half inch um, Fenton plate, and that would have been around, well, I spent 33, 32 or $33 on, on the Fenton. Uh, got that. Got this little girl, so she's a Joseph original. So she was a part of the, the $32, $33. I think she was a couple of dollars. Um, I got the two little kitty cats, and they are the, um, what is kind of, kind of a leopardy kind of treatment. And then one is has got all this painting on it. It's pretty, but it's got an owie on the on there. So they said, oh, it's a buy one, get one free. So that was $3 <laughs> for the buy one, get one free. So that turned out really well. And then look, this is a really nice big Burmese Fenton vase, and and it's kind of got a bluish tint through here with the, I think these are periwinkles, all up and down there, and that was $15. I was thrilled. One just like it sold on eBay for $152, and I got it for $15. That was an amazing deal. And then this, my friend was going through all the Christmas stuff, and she just saw this box, and she didn't see what was in it, but she gave it to me because I, I get the Fenton. <laughs> but we didn't know there was a Santa in there, so it was sold for $16.99, deep discount. Interesting. And um, probably at some kind of gift shop. But it is a Santa fairy lamp. Can y'all see that very well? So here he is. I had a hard time figuring out how in the world to get his little head back on. I couldn't figure out what I had because the first thing I took off was this with a little <laughs> with a little tea light in it. But I finally figured out that that's that's his face, and then his beard is down here. So it's kind of an amberina kind of look. And these are like seventy dollars. So it's come a long way from sixteen ninety nine. I don't know when the date was. So that was all of the thirty three dollars. So I don't know how that all works out, but. That was it. It seems like I had something else, but I can't figure out what that is. So anyways, and before we got there, a lot of things were supposed to be five dollars five ten dollars a piece, but they were willing to um, negotiate. But some of the bigger pieces turned out to be more. So that was really about all I got. So I went to another place and I spent forty five dollars and I got all the sterling. So this was supposed to be forty in and of itself, and it is sterling and it says sterling right there and I got the brush that matches it and it also says sterling way up in there so look for that and I wouldn't normally get brushes and stuff but I had several things and I thought they were interesting I just think that this is so neat when you think about who 120 years ago used this brush beautiful silver work and it also says sterling on here somewhere I think it's off here on the side somewhere. Oh well, I can't find it. Um, this, I brought, bought, threw this in. Couldn't find any mark on it, but I was looking at this and going, that looks like silver. And it's here on the, oh, upside down, you know me. Oh, I hope you can see that better. So it says sterling right there. Found this, and I knew this was silver, even though I couldn't find the mark, but it is also a little bottle coaster. So you would open your wine and put your bo uh, bottle on that afterward. So that is really neat. Here's another brush. And gosh, I wish I could find the sterling. Oh, it says sterling right there. Who knows if it's upside down or not, because I can't see very well. Uh, that close. There we go, sterling. It's right side up this time. To, uh, four coasters, they're all sterling. They were black. Uh, I took a chance on them. They are definitely sterling. 
Um, and that's that. And then I had, couldn't leave her behind. I just, this is a daguerreotype or an ambrotype. I don't know, probably a daguerreotype. So I saw this. I thought, I've got to open that up and see what it is. It is in just absolutely pristine condition. Here's this little old lady. You know she was probably born around 1800, you know, or earlier. And look at that. I just think that is amazing that you're seeing somebody's picture from so long ago and they took advantage of a new technology. So I hope you enjoyed everything. There is more to come. Let's see, what do I have? I have some more Fenton and some mixed mix of different things. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.